For the given cosine function, we are asked to determine the amplitude period and phase shift. After we do this, we will also verify the results graphically. For a quick review, when we have the sine and cosine functions in this form, the absolute value of A is the amplitude. If A is less than zero, we have a reflection across the midline. Two pi divided by B is the period. C indicates a vertical translation, where if C is greater than zero or positive, the function is translated up C units. If C is less than zero or negative, the function is translated down the absolute value of C units. And finally, D in this form indicates a horizontal translation, where if D is greater than zero, the function is translated right D units. And if D is less than zero or negative, the function is translated left the absolute value of D units. Notice how when D is less than zero or negative, this would be in the form of X plus D, because X minus negative D is equivalent to X plus D. So going back to our example, notice A is equal to negative seven, B is equal to positive three, and D in this form is equal to positive pi over five. Also notice that C is equal to zero, because C is zero, there is no vertical shift, and therefore the midline remains the x-axis, or y equals zero. So because A is equal to negative seven, we know we have a reflection across the midline, and since the absolute value of A is equal to the absolute value of negative seven, which is positive seven, the amplitude is positive seven, the period is equal to two pi divided by B, and B is equal to positive three, and therefore the period is two pi divided by three radians, or two thirds pi radians. And then finally, D is equal to positive pi over five, again, because it has to be in the form of X minus D, and because D is positive, the phase shift or horizontal shift is pi over five units to the right. And let's verify the results graphically. Since C is equal to zero, there is no vertical translation, and therefore the midline remains the x-axis or y equals zero. When graphing the basic cosine function, we normally graph one period of the function from zero to two pi radians. But in this case, because we have a phase shift, a horizontal shift of pi over five units to the right, we will graph one period of the given function starting at x equals pi over five, indicated by this red vertical line. And then because the period is two-thirds pi radians, if we add two-thirds pi radians to pi over five radians, we get 13 fifteenths pi radians, indicated by this red vertical line. So between these two vertical lines, we have one complete graph of the given cosine function. And because the amplitude is seven, and we don't have a vertical translation, we know we have a maximum function value of positive seven, and a minimum function value of negative seven. And then when we graph the basic cosine function, we divide the period into four equal subintervals, and then the pattern for the cosine function is maximum, midline, minimum, midline, maximum. But because we have a reflection across the midline, the pattern for our function over one period is minimum, midline, maximum, midline, and minimum. And once we have this piece of the graph, we can simply copy and paste this graph over a larger interval. So this graph does verify our results are correct. I hope you found this helpful.